Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Intara Mawati. I'm a magister student in mathematics education from Universitas 11 Maret. Now I will present my paper entitled Analysis of Secondary Student Mathematical Understanding in Solving Sets Problem a Perspective of Scan Understanding Theory. Mathematical understanding is an ability that is considered good as a process to achieve an understanding and is used as a result of achieving understanding. Scan distinguishes two kinds of understanding based on student ability. Uh, namely instrumental understanding and rational understanding. According to SCAM, instrumental understanding occurs when students are only able to solve problems correctly by applying memories rules without knowing the reason for using these rules. Uh, whereas relational understanding occurs um, occurs when when students are able to solve problems that correctly apply level with uh, the correct uh, processing process and are able to explain the reason for the answer. Based on this understanding, scan categories understanding into more specific ones. Therefore, mathematical understanding is very important because, according to me, Vijaya and Sugandhi, it can train student abilities in connecting a mathematical concept with other concepts. And in this Vinarto Ardiansha, Ryoji and Sukardio know a key aspect of learning because it can help students understand a concept that is not only to be remembered but to. But the fact that all students have a good mathematical understanding. This is in line with the research conducted by Kuncharwati, Madiana, and Saputro, showing that students with low abilities have difficult in several undercard thoughts of scams and mathematical understanding. The next Mitra and Herianti show that it is quite difficult to find students uh, who have uh, relational understanding compared to students who have instrumental understanding, where in the research only one student was found who had relational understanding. Next, Tianingum and Sofiani so that of the four indicators of, of instrumental and rational understanding abilities as that student who achieve the first indicator are only Ten percent, percent, and five percent are almost right. Well, uh, eighty-five percent of order students don't achieve the indicators. Based on the best, based on uh, the studies, uh, it is that the. Uh, not all students have a good mathematical understanding. Uh, so, the uh, so this indicates uh, that there are difficult experience by students in mathematical understanding. And then we study I uh, aims to describe student mathematical understanding in solving set problems based on scams theory of understanding. Next uh where this type of research or qualitative research with a uh, discrete approach uh, aims, to aims to analyze uh, and describe, describe student mathematical understanding in solving set problems based on scams theory of understanding. Uh, next, uh, this research was conducted, conducted at Mtsdr Aman Mataram. 
uh, the subject in the study consisted of three students of class 70, which were divided into three categories based on academic ability, namely high, moderate, and low abilities. The data in the study were obtained by using a mathematical understanding test and interview. Next, uh, we saw a discussion uh, where the study begins by classifying students into three categories based on ability. Namely, student S1 with hack ability, student S2 with moderate ability, and student S3 with low ability. Indicator of mathematical understanding according to SCAM, uh, theory of understanding in the research, uh, the most student ability to classify object based on needs uh, that can for a concept, uh, student ability to apply concept algorithmically, uh, student ability to give example of a concept, the ability to repeat the concept learned, uh, student ability to provide provide some mathematical concept and then student ability to create several mathematical concept. Next, uh, in problem one, problem number one consists of mathematical understanding of indicators one and three. Uh, where student S1 know the example are included in the set and not the set. C answered the statement 1A is not a set by providing another example. Example uh, that belongs to the set. Uh, C can give a good reason uh, even though C has doubts. And then uh, C can also explain why. Why number 1B is, good, is included in the set. <coughs> Next, uh, student S2 can understand the meaning of question number one. In number, in number 1A, she give other examples are input in the set and is able to explain the reason for using this example. For number 1B, she is able to provide an explanation of statement 1B which is believed to be a set. And then student S3 who confused, has difficult answering, and doesn't remember the matter he has studied well. Uh, he explained the difference in example uh, that include set and non set. He can answer the question, but he is not so of the answer. And he couldn't he couldn't give a reason for answer number 1B. And then uh, he answered the question by guessing. So, but on this result, uh, student S1 and S2 with indicators 1 and 3, but student S3 only made indicator 3. Next, problem number 2. Mathematical understanding of indicator 4 and 6. Uh, where student S1 didn't answer the question number 2 until his work finished. Uh, he doesn't understand question number 2 and only worked on the information he eh, done the information he knew. She know. Uh, and she admitted she remembers writing operation uh, operation symbol on set, but actually uh, the opposite is the cat. Next student S2 didn't answer the question 2 until it works finished because she doesn't know the formula or step in solving the problem. Uh, she didn't answer question number 2 and believe the set operation symbol the word is correct, but uh, in fact, the opposite is true. Uh, and then student S3 remembered the operation symbol on the set, but only vaguely remembered it. 
uh, he didn't answer the question number two until it was finished. He didn't and he didn't answer question number two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he didn't understand question number two. And then uh, he doesn't understand the problem and doesn't know uh, the steps to solve problem number two. So that's on this result. Uh, the three students didn't know, didn't meet indicator four and six. Next, problem number three. What about the understanding of indicator two and five? Uh, where student is at can understanding and answer question number three well, uh, she can explain uh, the concept of set operational. Uh, she has been able to illustrate problem number three. And then, uh, student number uh, student is to understand question number three, but only answer half of it. Uh, she can explain the concept of operational. Operation, operation of set except except the concept of the difference. Uh, she has been has been able to illustrate problem number three using a pen diagram because she doesn't know how to draw it. And student S3 doesn't understand question number three. He can answer. He can answer uh, question number two because he is still hesitating in answering, in answering it. Uh, and then he couldn't in question question number three using the pen diagram because he didn't know how to operate in and only knew uh, the drawing. So uh, student S1 uh, made Indicator number one and eh, number two, but uh, student number student S2 and S3 uh, didn't meet indicator two and five. Next conclusion, but on the result of a eh, on the result and discussion, it can be concluded that student with high ability. That has good mathematical understanding because she can fulfill, fulfill most of the indicators of understanding. Whereas, while students with moderate and low ability have poor mathematical understanding because they only meet less than a few of the indicators of understanding. Uh, and next, uh, you can see conclusion. Uh, in number two and number three. No presentation for me. Thank you.